There's like a thousand ways to make money in Grand Theft Auto Online. So in this video, I just want to go ahead and show you one of those ways of making some pretty easy cash. Now, this could be done completely solo with no requirements. That means you could be a brand new player coming into the game, and this is what we're going to go ahead and do. So we're going to start up a survival, and the very first survival is going to be the one that we're going to start up, which is called Boneyard. Within Boneyard, there is actually a wall glitch where we're going to go ahead and boast up against the wall to where the enemies are not going to be able to shoot us whatsoever. So real quick, we're not going to need armor because armor and health spawn in here, along with bullets and cash after we kill people, which we're going to be getting RP from the murders and then also RP for finishing this, okay? So there's going to be 10 waves. we got to do the 10 waves. I'm just going to show you real quick some tips and some tricks on completing this super easy mission here. Well, survival mission, whatever. All right, so right over here, it's nighttime, whatever. So hopefully you can see good enough. So we got the armor right there. And then you see that sign? So it's like a blue sign. We're going to jump up right here. So it's jump up, and then we're going to boast up against the wall. And then we're going to scooch over just a little bit right there. Perfect. And then we're going to wait for the enemies to spawn in. So what I use, machine gun, take out all these enemies. They're going to get a little bit tougher. But each kill that you get, you should be getting 25 RP. And you're going to be doing a lot of killing, especially if you're the only one in here. It's going to work out a lot better if you're the only one in here. So you're going to have hillbillies coming at you left and right all over the place. As a matter of fact, at some point, they're going to get a helicopter. I'll be talking about what what's the best method to take care of those helicopters. So there's actually three helicopters that are going to spawn in. One at wave four, one at wave seven, and then another one at wave ten while you're doing this. But right here on the wall... I cannot get shot whatsoever. So, like, it doesn't matter. We'll go over a little bit. So, this is what I usually do just in case the enemies, like, don't want to run out into the open. Is we'll just run back and forth real quick on the wall. And then there's a dude right there out in the open. Atomize him. There it is. Wave one complete. Didn't get shot one time. All right. Now, you got a little bit of clearance time right now. So best thing to do is if you did get shot or took any damage, go out and get some armor. There's health right over there off to the right of me. And then definitely probably want to pick up some ammo and some cash. That's probably going to be just like littered all over the ground. Definitely want to be grabbing that stuff. And then here we go. Jump back up on the wall and then just boast up against it just like this. Scooch over right in this area. That area that I'm standing, that's like the golden area. And you don't have that big of an area, like maybe two people could stand up here but that's about it that's that's all about the room that there is and look these guys are just gonna keep running in on you and all you gotta do is just have a decent gun and then just annihilate them as they're coming through more more people 25 rp every single kill there so on top of the thirty thousand dollars that we're gonna be getting for completing wave 10 we're gonna be picking up cash off the ground oh right there you see and we're also gonna be getting rp for the kills Get that guy. Get these people. Yeah, they like to get stuck in that little warehouse right there. If they get stuck in the warehouse, potentially, just keep shooting in there. Move around on the wall just a little bit. And or use your atomizer. If you got an atomizer, definitely use one of those. So I'm just kind of like looking around. We're going to go back and forth, back and forth. Just look. Whoa, you're shooting at me. They won't shoot at you while you're up here. This is crazy. This is actually something that's been in the game as long as I can remember and there there we go wave two completed awesome so you guys can see the idea here just boasting up on the wall and then taking out the enemies as they're running in at you yeah they're gonna have some vehicles and once again at some point they're gonna get a helicopter I don't know how hillbilly's got a helicopter but that's gonna happen so just boast up against the wall right here and you're gonna be a okay they're not gonna get shot at you all right so here's the helicopter right here we're gonna go out and there it is so it's gonna have two gunners one on each side what you can do is shoot the gunners and then shoot the pilot and or just try to like go for the pilot I was trying to shoot the gunners because I don't want them shooting at me and then from here you can just take your sweet time oh still a gunner oh hold on now I'm gonna get you <laughs> Yeah, I would just say, uh, shoot at the engine area, like where the blade is. Oh, there it is. All right, awesome. So once again, helicopters are coming in. Wave four, wave seven, and also at the very end is wave 10. 
So basically it's the same thing. So the idea is make sure you shoot all the dudes on the ground and then jump off of the wall and take, hel uh, take care of the helicopter because that's the only thing that's uh, necessarily going to be flying around that you're going to have to, you know, watch out for because you don't want to like jump off the wall and have a bunch of dudes down here shooting at you while you're trying to shoot at the helicopter. And literally all you got to do, bump stuff against this wall every single round. Don't forget to uh, jump down and get some stuff. Now here's another method too that you could use is the minigun method. This is pretty decent, but I'm getting shot a whole bunch. I'm a horrible aim too on using controller. My, my thumbs, that's all I got here, my thumbs. There it is, yeah. So there it is, wave, uh, wave seven. We'll hop off the wall right here because this is wave 10. We're gonna take care of business, get this done. Not the RPG, that's horrible. Use the minigun. Ooh, look at that life, though. Watch your, li your guys' life in here. All right, we're looking good. Grab the cash on the ground. There it is. Look at that, dude. Wave 10 completed. Super easy. Completely solo. Not really too many requirements whatsoever. Just basically a gun and some bullets, and you should be good to go with that one right there. So from here, after you complete it, we can just go right down there to replay. And we're just going to go ahead and keep replaying this all day long. We could be making potentially millions of dollars by doing this simple, easy survival method in the game. And if you enjoyed this video and it was helpful in any way, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Turn on the post notifications so you don't miss out on daily Grand Theft Auto 5 online uploads until GTA 6 gets here, right? But from there, thank you all for watching and supporting the channel. You should go over to the channel and check out more videos because we got tons of more money-making methods just like this for you guys to go ahead and check out and enjoy and make millions of dollars here in Grand Theft Auto without a without a lot of effort. But anyways, my name is Gravesite Green Alien, and I'm out of here, so peace.